welcome home. All right, what's going on guys? It's Epoxy and here in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install an ENB for Fallout 4. Now, I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to install reshade in this video. Some ENBs do require reshade, but I personally prefer the ENBs that don't require it as it's just another layer of performance getting cut off. And I honestly don't see the need for reshade being in an ENB, at least not this far down the road when ENB is where it's at. For this video, I'm gonna be using Candy Eye the Anniversary Edition by Bethesda Pick HD as an example, but this should work for any ENB that doesn't require reshade. But we're just gonna jump right into it. And the first thing that you wanna do is click the link down in the description below that will bring you to enbdev.com and it will bring you to the latest followed for ENB version. Once you're here, all you wanna do is go to the bottom right here where it has the download and just click it and it should start downloading or it will give you a option to save it to a directory. Just do so save it to your downloads wherever you want it the next thing that we want to do is go to our game directory for fallout 4 and we could do so by just going to steam finding fallout 4 right clicking going to properties going to local files and browse local files this is the easiest way to get to it if you don't know where it's located now that we have our game directory open let's go ahead and open up our downloads folder where we saved the enb series and then we can go ahead and extract it with 7-zip or the built-in extractor with windows and just extract to this location and it should give you a folder with the exact same name just open that up and go into the wrapper version and this is where the files are located that we want to go ahead and drag on over now there are actually only two files that we want from here and they should be the top two the application extensions the d3d11 and the d3d compiler 46e we just want to go ahead and copy both of those and drag them on over into the Fallout 4 directory where the two executable files are located. Now let's go ahead and go to whatever ENB we want to go ahead and install. Go to Files, and then once we're on Files, let's find the version that we want. I personally want the no letterbox version, and we're going to manually download it. Do not download it with the Mod Manager as you cannot install these through Mod Manager. So do not use that option. We want to save it to our downloads folder again, and let's go ahead and open that up. And now that it's downloaded, we can just go ahead and right click it and extract this as well and open up that folder. And now this is where all the ENB files are located for the ENB that we downloaded and that we've chosen. And all you want to do is just simply highlight everything here and drag it on over into the Fallout 4 directory as well. Now it's going to make things cluttered, but this is the only way you can install ENBs. And unfortunately, the only other option for you is getting an ENB manager, which will keep track of all these files but they'll still be there inside of your follow directory. So I would personally say go with this route. The ENB managers out there are pretty buggy. So this is really your best option. Now, before we go ahead and launch the game to see if the ENB is working correctly, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check the mod page for whatever ENB you installed and check for any required mods or tweaks that you must do. And with this mod, I know that there is one setting that I need to tweak, and that is important. In your ENB INI, set enable lens equals false. So how we do that is just simply go to the enbseries.ini in our game directory that we transferred over from the ENB mod itself and find enable lens equals. And we're just gonna wanna go ahead and replace that with false. And then we can go ahead and save and exit that out. And now that we've installed the ENB series, we've installed the ENB presets and we've made the required tweaks that it asks us to do. Let's go ahead and launch the game and show you that the ENB is indeed working. Both the ENB series, which you're going to notice is working as soon as you launch the game. Some text should pop up at the top left. As you see on screen here, you can open up the menu with shift and enter, and this allows you to make tweaks to the ENB itself. But let's go ahead and load up into the Core Vega assembly plant so that you guys can see that the ENB preset itself is working. And as you guys can see, this is what the eye candy ENB looks like. And I don't have any mods installed except for ELFX, so I don't have any visual mods. This is just followed for itself with an ENB slapped on top and with high settings. So anyways, guys, that is how you install ENB series and a ENB preset. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to Join the Good Fights if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated as always. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. And until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Today.